And um, before we start in the testimonies, I'm just reminded of a scripture. This is from Luke chapter 5, verse 5, where there was a group of fishermen fishing and Jesus was standing at the shore. And then one of them called Simon, who later became Peter, said, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Question here is, is your prayer life looking like that? It was never about the nets. The nets don't catch fish. There is something more than the nets that is responsible. So whenever you hear the testimonies, and you'll hear a few tonight, but even otherwise, just a little quick tip I want to give you, pay close attention to what they speak in that testimony. And then cut it open and try to figure out what it is that worked. What scripture did they use? What principle worked from the Bible? What else did that person use that made their miracle manifest? And then go back in your place of prayer and apply it. So with that said, I'd just like um, each of us to now get started into the testimonies. Yeah. Who wants to go first? Russell, I like to. Yes. Um, is there any? I like to um, thank the Lord, the God of hosts, who camps all these angels around us today for these sessions. I, I, I rejoice in His Word every day. I also, I also like to have the silence every time I come after work. Instead of um, putting on uh, the TV or something like that, I just like that that silence and just to relax in his presence and just to thank him for the prayers that he has answered in our morning encounters. And, and uh, he continues to uh, do the word, continues to encamp us right throughout our day. And the Holy Spirit just keeps reciting scriptures in our in my mind just to keep me at peace. And I like I like just the in that peace that is working all the time, even though sometimes my life is quiet. But I am very focused. I'm very happy in this kind of silence because I know He is doing His work every time in, in ways that I cannot imagine and things that I have not um, even prayed about. He's got it all covered. And I thank all of you also for, I, can, I cannot do, uh, I know I cannot um, do nothing uh, without him. I, I, as soon as I get off this, um, like say, I don't even, it's rarely do I get off uh, praying to our Lord God of hosts because I feel very um, un, unsteady. There's a sort of urgent need to always be on my guard all the time and be, um, even though I'm relaxed, but I'm, not, I'm very aware that the Holy Spirit is always telling me that, you know, he's always there guiding everyone. I think everyone, I think the Holy Spirit is anointing the blood of Jesus upon everyone here because I know that he hears and answers our prayers and use answer and use cover just about everything that I want to say and also I like to um, like to pray for others as well over you I'd like to thank you Shaneen, Brother Vivek, um, Brother Johnson and all the other ministries um, uh, Brother Savio uh, and Shaneen there there morning sessions are enlight enlightening just the, the word of god just makes me rejoice and i like to thank everyone for the for, um the works and the lord answering every one of our prayers i know he is listening and he's got our eye upon us wherever we go whenever we say something to someone or testify or doing any kind of help or deliverance or it works. I've, I've done some uh, even deliverance prayers in the beginning when my brother had a sore ear and all the 
I did in the beginning, I just didn't know how it works, but I just wanted to actually observe. And I whispered his ear and he had and he came down. He and he had an aching ear, he was just complaining, and he's always away coming home late. And I said, listen, I gotta I'll just try and talk to his ear, and he agreed with me. And I and I wasn't sure, but I just gave it a go because I was confident something's going to happen. Because I knew my, I'm just confident in, in the Lord by God, and His word is powerful. I see the twitching. I just want, I was observing this twitching in his ear. It's like he's shaking his head all the time, and I knew something's working. So, and I thank his, and I thank everyone for your teachings and teachings, and I'm just overjoyed to hear all these. Uh, teachings all the time and your testimonies and it really inspires me to keep going and just uh, pass it on and obey his commandments and um, you'll see the true transformation and everything thank you everyone thank you lord thank you father thank you holy spirit thank you jesus thanks honey for that testimony yeah it's important when we when we pray uh, to know that it is our job to release our faith the outcome doesn't depend on us. That's the most important thing. You release your faith, you take his name, now it is backed by his integrity. You have to hand it over to him. Now. Over to you, Lord. That's like when I pray, I say, I've done my part, now over to you. It is up to you to uphold your name and I know you will. My job is to stick onto my faith and not waver. So we should not doubt. Don't be unsure. Just give it your 100% in the faith. Thanks for that testimony, Annie. Yeah, who wants to hallelujah, go next? brother. Yes, hallelujah, brother. Adding to you what you have said, yes, the Holy Spirit, Lord, He keeps fo keeps uh, help, He reminds me to keep my focus on Jesus. And the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus came to give abundant life. So whenever I'm feeling an attack or of any sort, I say, Jesus, you are my crowning glory. Jesus, you are. I have the mind of Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. You have given, you have made Christ to be my wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. You have clothed me with the robe of righteousness and the garments of praise. I say, thank you, Jesus. You are my bread of life. Thank you, Jesus. You are my living water, my resurrection and my life. Thank yes. you, Jesus, that greater is King Jesus in me than he that is in the world. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord, the resurrection power. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is living in me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all the scriptures that we have learned. And thank you for all my brothers and sisters who are upholding every family in prayer and the precious blood of protection. Thank you to everybody and glory to Jesus, the Abba Father and Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sister. Praise the Lord, brother. It's Christina yes, here. Yes. Thank ahead. you, Holy Spirit, for this blessed group and for all your miracles, Jesus. And thank you, Sister Shanine, for a beautiful praise and worship and for Brother Savio's inspiring daily reflections and as well as the morning encounter with the Lord, today's from slavery to sonship to hair was excellent. Thank you, Brother Russell. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And it links with my testimony. So every day I say Psalm 91 for safety in the Lord. And while walking at my home, I was wondering whom I can ask to go with me to a medical appointment that's coming up. And I accidentally stumbled and fell. And praise the Lord, I wasn't hurt. As amazingly, I managed to position myself and fall carefully. Thank you, Jesus, for Psalm 91, 11. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Then while on the ground, I thought I must shout for someone to help me up. But instead, I said, no, devil, I won't glorify you. For as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Joshua 24, 15. And after I had lifted myself up, I knew who to ask to help to go with me to the appointment, the Holy Spirit, as he's always with me. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So I covered the entire area and people with the precious blood of Jesus. And throughout, I prayed in tongues behind my mask. And I thank God that I am the body of Christ. Satan, sickness, sin, curse has no place, no power in me. As I overcome evil with good. That's from 1 Corinthians 12, 27. And also I said, Lord Jesus, thank you for being with me always. 
Therefore, it's your precious body that's being checked, not mine. And as you are perfect, so am I, Lord, in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. And a final verse that touched me during Father Rosian's Lenten retreat is Galatians 6, 17. From now on, let no one make trouble for me, for I carry the marks of Jesus branded on my body. Amen. Amen. And praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for an excellent report that I received, all for the glory of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. God Amen. bless you in your ministry. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Yes, who would like to go next? I might just share my uh, uh, testimony here that we've experienced in our uh, family as well, extended family. Over the last week to 10 days or so, we've had two births in the family, two beautiful, new, healthy babies. So thank you, Jesus, for that. One of them, born in India, did have complications, did have the umbilical cord wrapped, I think, twice or thrice probably around the neck. And up until the last week, the doctors thought it's probably going to have to be a cesarean birth. But miraculously, these cords were unwound and the baby was born through a normal delivery. And we had a second birth again, I think it was yesterday or the night before. Another beautiful little baby, healthy birth. And every time there's a childbirth, in general, every time I see pregnant women as well, I just feel like thanking God and I say, you have not forgotten us. You did not get angry on us and say, no more children for you. You don't deserve it. But he still looks upon love, uh, look, looks upon us with love. And, and this, you know, he continues to bless us with this precious gift. So thank you, Jesus, for this. And thank you for all your favors on my life as well, in my personal life, my ministry. Thank you that I am alive, my family is well and healthy. And thank you, Father, for this beautiful prayer group, this family that you have given each of us. Thank you, Lord. Yes, who would like to go next? Hello, brother. Yes. Yes, um, I just wanted to thank the Lord for this day, that every heartbeat is his, every breath that I take is his. I thank the Lord that we are in a country without a war, that we can worship Lord yes. day in and out. And yes. I just wanted to thank many miracles that uh, without knowing and knowing that his protection and sending angels in our life, I praise the Lord that the people, despite of all the woes and, and uh, uncertainty about anything and everything, that in the midst of it, He's holding our hands and walking. I praise and worship. I also wanted to thank the whole Brisbane group for creating and giving them wisdom to spread the word around the world. In mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Yes, who would like to go next? Anyone that's experiencing transformation in their spiritual life, not just physical healings, 
transformation in 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 ways where the lord speaks to you and you get kinds of revelations that you've never seen before how has your journey with with the word of god been in your place of prayer anyone that's attending the the evening rosary sessions that has brought transformation in your lives or someone who's been attending the morning praying in tongues and that has opened up a whole new realm of possibilities for you in your place of prayer i'd like you to unmute and share please uh, brother this is caroline here yes go ahead caroline um i have been experiencing uh, a lot of new things for the past uh, one or two weeks now okay so i uh, 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 nowadays the 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 speakings of god has been uh, so clear uh, you know the messages from him has been so clear uh, when he speaks that uh, it becomes more like a revelation that okay this is what he wants me to do so uh, there has been uh, you know a very tough phase in my professional life that i was dealing with i want to quit my job and start a uh, working independently and uh, god has always shown me and given me the assurance that just wait back and your purpose will be found here in the place you are so i was giving a lot of interviews and uh, and it just didn't work out so i was telling my husband that when i go for interviews i feel that you know the place i'm working in is mm. like a heavenly bliss so he has a uh, showed me ways uh, to tell me that sometimes is just not as per uh, my plans you have to just trust me and uh, and and i used to keep listening to praise and worship but there are times he told me i want to speak to you so if you are going to listen to praise and worship i can't speak to you and uh, i have re- uh, remember brother vivek a lot of times uh, because uh he just tells me to do something and i should do it right now and when i listen to that uh voice of his it is uh, so beautiful uh when you implement and you know that wow this is what it is uh and we didn't have a prayer life uh, as a family but now uh, before i reach home my in-laws my husband my 8 year old daughter with my 10 month son tells the entire they tell the entire rosary together and i join them on a saturday sunday so this is something that i never seek this is something that i never asked for so i realize that uh, and and i've been consistently realizing that the moment you keep thanking god and put him first in your life yeah. uh, absolutely everything falls in place uh, the values the the money the relationships just flourish and and the peace that you get is uh, is something that you can't seek materialistically so uh, so uh, you know i'm just uh, and that's why i keep telling that sometimes your entire life becomes a testimony you don't know what to say because yes. you're just living it and uh, it's beautiful brother russell so uh, i wanted to share this for the past two weeks but somehow it it was never happening so today i stepped out of office and i said let me just say it and uh, thanks for uh, hearing me and praise god that uh, you know we are all in this uh, uh, beautiful platform wherein we are just uh, helping each other uh, so well so uh, so thank you for everything brother thank you jesus yeah, he's the you, one jesus. that does it yeah yes yes yeah it is so beautiful to hear him speak and then when you hear that voice throughout the day and you enjoy that personal closeness with him it's like he's drawing you into that kingdom kind of life where your personal place of prayer has got you no know, specific things that you are speaking to him about and yet he arranges everything else around you in accordance with his plan like this sister just shared about the family praying together and doing things even though she is yes that is so yes. beautiful there praise god who else would like to share their testimony surely the lord has done things for you the very fact that you are on this prayer meeting and not somewhere else enjoying your weekend says there's something special that has brought you here 
Yes, Wilfred. Russell. Yes, chair. Russell. I, I'd just like to say thank you to the Lord. You know, our family's had a very, very tough week, probably yes. one of the toughest we've experienced. So I'd just like to praise and thank the Lord just for getting us through that. You know, it's it's in, in those tough times and the times of trouble. Yeah. We've got to be able to. It's hard to turn to the Lord. You know, it is hard when you're in that moment of despair and unbelief that you can say, Lord, where are you? You know, what has happened that you're able just to, to come and say, Lord, I love you. I don't understand what's happening, but I love you. And I know that you love all of us, you know? Yes. So I'd just like to praise and thank the Lord for the graces and blessings and for giving us his shoulder to lean on. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you've given us, the, the beautiful, the, the air we breathe. Thank you for all the beautiful people, blessed yes. people on this group who we know that everyone is praying for everyone else. And yeah. you know that you're not alone. So yeah. thank you, Lord. We will give you glory alone. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who else would like to give glory to the Lord? For even the smallest things he's done for you. Hi, uh, thank you so much, uh, Russell, for all that you do and your group. Uh, this is my first time I'm joining on Zoom. And I thank the Lord uh, oh. for bre Brother Savio. He texted me to read the uh, uh, the I confess boldly yeah. and as you said I could have been anywhere uh, Toronto time it's early morning so I could have been sleeping yeah. but I'm happy to be awake and uh, wake up without the alarm <laughs> so I really thank God uh, for bringing me out here and I've been listening on YouTube but uh, this is the first time I'm joining live and I'm so happy to be here I want to thank the Lord for all that he has done in my life through the teachings and you know reading the word it has really helped me in my job in my family life and uh, there are so many good things happening i praise and thank god thank you praise god praise god let him give direction to your journey in the name of jesus that journey with him amen lord thank you father Hello, brother. This is Jane here, brother. Yes, Jane. Go ahead. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for the, for the week gone by, for all his blessings. And I can say, I want to thank the Lord for giving a more intimate relationship with him than before. Before I was before I joined the group. Before it was something of a reading from a book, a prayer book. But now that is completely changed. Even now where we meet as a group in our parish to pray every week for the Lent, uh, we pray with the book, the prayer book. But now I have changed that pattern. I have brought more of a scripture, storming heaven only with the scriptures and nothing of the prayers of the book. And, uh, and I thank Lord for that. And uh, in the do for the morning encounters, brother, I like to thank uh, for you that uh, you pray tirelessly for all the intercession. And what I used to do is I just say amen for all, for all your intercession, for all your prayers you make, whether it be for financial or to anyone to be saved for any prayer, anything you pray. I just claim it as amen with you. And I can see the miracles happening. Amen. Praise God. Yes, brother. I, I just, uh, something, uh, sometimes I even feel uh, uh, Brother Russell, how he's praying, praying tirelessly without uh, fail every day he is bringing out all the prayer requests for all for all it is like an intercession for all and just if you pray with you 
uh, joining with you, just claiming it, it's enough. We get a, we get a press, answer press. Yes. Yes, brother. Most important thing, there is the Holy Spirit prays with us. He intercedes on our behalf. And when he's there with us, then you don't need to run on, on your physical strength. It is like it runs on an auto mode. It is not our energy. It is as he, at his, his expense on his energy that we are able to pray. So all of us must reach that stage. And I pray for me to reach that stage. So then you can pray for us together throughout the day. And, and it is such a beautiful experience. Yes, from morning to morning. I, 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 I was sure serving in my parish for the past 10 years. I, I used to do the work in the parish. So when mm. I started the writing notes here, I found it little difficult to do that. But the Holy Spirit said, you can. But And uh, he gave me some destiny helpers to help me. And he asked me to go little early to the church. So that I can do that work. So I get up from 5 o'clock, be there in church first at 6, 6 o'clock for 6.30 mass and do some work there and do my work in the house. And after that, do that. And it's, I'm running only with the strength of the Holy Spirit. And as he is guiding me. Yes. And I can see, yes, and I can see that the more intimate relationship, as more and more we, we are in the relationship with him, he is guiding. He's guiding everything. What to do, where to go, how to do. Yes. Even that, uh, even I can say, even I can say when I write notes, even where to put comma, sometimes he tells me, brother. Yeah. I, I really enjoy the relationship with me. I don't uh, feel uh, any tired, exhausted. And I love the work. I love my work, I can say. And I have passion for it. Thank you, brother. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I've just shared a link in the, the Zoom chat for those that are new and would like to join our Telegram group. So you can click that link, download the Telegram app on your phone. Click that link. You can join the prayer group there and you receive updates on all our sessions. You can get links to all the recordings, to all the sessions that are being posted on the group. You can post your prayer requests as there. Well, that's, that's the prime objective of this. It's not just a social platform there. It is our prayer room. We use it as our prayer room where when you put your prayer request, whether it's for yourself, your family or anyone else, even your neighbors or friends, there are others on the group that do not know you, but they will pick up that prayer request and they will pray on your behalf. And it is that intercession that that's the big, you know, the big bonus that we get out of this uh, telegram group. Yeah. So make use of it. Click that link, join there and, you know, share the blessing with others. You receive it and you share it as well. I've also seen a message um, asking about the rosary. So our rosary sessions are run Monday to Thursday. They run at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is probably, I think, 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon India time. It's run on this very same Zoom platform that you joined here today. So you can click the same link and join every evening. If you can't join on Zoom, you can, actually, you can even um, listen to it live on YouTube at the same time or go back onto our YouTube channel and then pray with the recording from that day's Rosary and Divine Mercy sessions. So that's Monday to Thursday at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, 2.30 p.m. India and the other time zones, um, you'll just have to recalculate based on 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And on Fridays, since we have this um, Bible study session here in the evening, so Fridays it's held at 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which I think is about 10.30 p.m. India time. If you are in India, I see an India mobile number there. So 10.30, sorry, 10.30 a.m. India time in the morning. And there again, it's run both on Zoom and on YouTube Live. All of these sessions, the morning encounter with the Lord, the, the rosary and divine mercy session, and this very Bible study session as well. All of these are run live on YouTube as well. So whatever platform works for you, you can listen to it. If you aren't able to attend in person during the live session, go back to the YouTube channel and pray with the recording. I can assure you, guarantee you, the same presence of the Holy Spirit is there even in that recording. It doesn't depend on the person that is leading the prayer. It is He, the Holy Spirit, who runs it. 
So connect with him and let that let that presence, let his presence flow there. Praise God. Yeah, who else wants to share their testimony? Praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord, yes. everyone. Yes, sister, go ahead. Yeah, I'm from India, Second Rabad. Uh, this is Telangana. Uh, yeah. My sister is there, uh, and uh, she has uh, put up the prayer uh, petition, prayer request over there for my son. Uh, his name is Christopher, and he is 15 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was actually born blind. And uh, when we took to the doctor, uh, took him to the doctor. Doctors, uh, one do a doctor gave up completely, like he is completely blind. And uh, the second doctor to whom we went, uh, he was a Brahmin, and uh, he said, uh, "Have faith on God. Your God is awesome, right?" Every word in the Bible is so encouraging. Can't you claim those words and keep hope on God and we will do our work. And that time my kid was 40 days old and he was operated and he was gifted with a vision by God's grace. God worked oh, mightily. Uh, and uh, off late uh, when he was like uh, 13 years, he developed glaucoma in his eyes, both the eyes. The pressures were very high, even though when they gave him the medicines to get it under control, uh, the pressures were not coming under control. Then they had to give him a medicine, uh, uh, which is a very, which was a very high dosage of medic medicine, just one drop on uh, both the eyes. Uh, it was going on like that. And in the meantime, this pandemic uh, was there everywhere and we couldn't uh, go to the doctor for the review and all and uh, when we went in this year like in the month of jan um, to the other doctor where uh, this hospital is very close to our place so when we went there uh, this doctor said uh, glaucoma is not under control and uh, you need to get him operated and i cannot assure you about his vision at all and uh, half of his optic nerve was damaged completely, which is irreparable, he said. So at least now, if we can control from here onwards, it will be uh, like we can maintain his uh, vision uh, in the long run because he is just 15 years old kid. And later on, like we have to calculate his years now from down, down the line from this year to the 60th year of his age, we have to maintain his vision. So what we can do is we can go through the glaucoma sur surgery. Still, uh, I cannot assure you that uh, the pressures will be under control. Uh, but then I can eradicate this high dosage of medicine, which is like, you know, uh, now at this tender age, uh, he, he is using this medicine, which this medicine which has to be used for a 60 or a 70 year old person. Uh, this medicine has been used for this kid because the pressures, pressures is nothing but the glaucoma, the pressures in the eyes is not getting under control. Uh, so I can reduce the dosage, uh, the power of that medicine by operating him. So he was operated on both the eyes. That is when my sister has put up a prayer request here and Sorry, you've gone on mute. Yeah. So she has testified also uh, surgery was successful, but the pressures are uh, very abnormal, uh, still on to the higher side. And uh, now the doctor is like, he is telling uh, that actually when he was operating, he didn't give us the surety for the vision. He might lose the vision is what they said. But God's mighty hand was on my child. And uh, he is restored with the same vision what he had. And uh, now the uh, uh, last for the uh, a couple of uh, reviews that we went, the pressures were like uh, 19, 20, 25, like that it was. So last visit that we went, uh, which was last week we, when we went, um, when the... Uh, the other guy who, who was testing the pressures, he said, uh, 
on to the left eye it is 25 and on to the right eye it is on 90 which is still higher madam he said i literally started shivering and i started praying and i was praying and praying and we went into the doctor's cabin and then doctor uh, he saw the pressures and he was like uh, let me do myself and then he put some uh, medicine in his eyes and he did the internal check for the pressures and uh, both the eyes pressures i was literally looking into doctor's eyes and my kids eyes and i was god you are in control of my child's eyes you have washed his eyes with your precious blood the you your the clay in which you have spat your spit that clay is on the eyes of my child no pressure can take over on my child's eyes i i was just speaking this words and i was just thanking and praising the lord and after everything i said what is the pressures doctor i said then the doctor said it is 18 on both the sides it's still higher little higher not very higher with the without medication it is under this uh, pressure so we haven't really started the actual medication for the pressures so this is how god is working wonderfully and uh, uh, this is what I actually wanted always to testify coming into uh, this Zoom meeting and uh, testifying the glory of God in my kids' life and in my life. Yes, that 18, what is there today is also, it has been washed away with the blood of Christ. That is what I believe. And uh, yes, I want to testify the glory of God uh, in a mighty way. Yeah. This is my testimony, uh, brother. Thanks you. Thank you, and thanks everyone. Thank you, sister. May God bless you. And we speak over this child's eyes. Lord, let his eyes be blessed, that he might see you, and see you all throughout his life for as long as he lives. He sees you and sees you clearly, Lord. And let others see you through his eyes. Let him be a blessing to all the nations in your name, Jesus. And everything that is malfunction at this stage is not in accordance with your plan and your design, Lord. I command it to be restored in accordance with your will. You said your word is above your name. And we believe that, Lord, that it is upheld. It shall not fail. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but it remains. And it is your plan for him to be healthy, for him to see. Lord, let this be a testimony for your glory in the name of Jesus. And we believe, Lord, we release this as our prayer of agreement together. And we say, yes. amen. let everyone that prays together at this time, type an amen in our chat, please. Uh, Father, this is our faith. Jesus. And you honor faith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this miracle in that boy's life. Thank you, Father. Yes, who else would like to share their journey with the Lord, their experience, their testimony? We can probably take one or two more and then we'll get started into this evening's teaching. Russell, uh, this yes. is Marina. Yes, go ahead, Marina. I just want to thank our Lord for this week and for the gift of life and for his abundant blessings that he has bestowed upon me and my family. Um, thank you, brother, for and for boys for partnering in prayer with me. And uh, I know I had concerns of, you know, having my family into prayer and to join me into this beautiful uh, feeling of one with the Lord. Yeah. But, uh, you know, God has his ways of sending messages. And uh, that very weekend, in fact, um, when I was at mass, uh, I heard the harmony, uh, the uh, father give his hom hom homily, wherein I thought the message was for me because, oh, uh, he, he in his homily he mentioned about a missionary praying for the world and you know nothing really happened 
and he, the missionary was then praying for his uh, family and nothing really happened. And then the missionary decided to pray for himself, to change himself. So he was praying for a change in the world, for his family. And then when he prayed for a change in himself, that's when he saw the change. So I felt I received a message that, you know what, it is me who needs to change. And mm -hmm. that's where I'm experiencing joy and peace right now in my family, wherein even my children, they, they listen when I ask them to uh, hear the word of God, just for two minutes, they listen to it happily without any, uh, you know, without, without having the thing of, oh my gosh, now we have to listen to prayers. So they are beginning to accept prayer in their life. And for this, I, pray, I praise and thank God for that. Start. I thank God for preparing a part of victory as I keep my heart and my mind fixed on him. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Keep thanking him for the change you want to see in your life and their lives, your entire family. Don't ask him to change it. Just start thanking him for it. Every yes. little change you are seeing there, start thanking him. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Are there any other testimonies? We can take one more, one last one, and then we can, and then we can get started with this evening's uh, reflection, this evening's study. Hi, this is Jude. Yes, yes, Jude, go ahead. Today, all the banks are closed because year ending accounts going on. I yes. just happened to go to the bank with the, to drop a check and, and then realized there were the gates, everything was closed. Suddenly, so one of the bank employees walked out and he said, Sorry, uh, we can't take your check. You cannot drop in the box because the bank is closed. That's a oh my God, it's disappointing. Another person come is I know that person. I've been going regularly to the bank and he's quite not a very grumpy guy. So I asked him, I said, uh, bank is closed, but I just want to drop my check in the box. He's saying, yeah, the banks are closed, we can't do anything. He said, anyway, no problem, just give me your check, I'll drop it, but it'll be clear tomorrow. I was so happy, thanks, um, praise God, I said, I said, unfortunately, so things happen, and so I knew it won't happen, because once I reached for the bank, it's closed, and they don't entertain anyone, but I was entertained. Praise God, and then as I said, today is the day of Friday. When I said to myself, always, I don't have to give any testimony because everything was fine and perfect. Uh, God, the Holy Spirit always been with me. Nothing's happened that I have to testify. But uh, another thing was that my son went on the surgery. We were quite skeptical about it, that yes, no, yes, no. And then we went to uh, one fine day, my wife, self and my wife, we went to and we said, okay, let's go to it for a checkup. And within a day of time, my son was operated yesterday for his surgery. He's perfectly fine now. He's back home, just recovering his injuries. And I thank the Holy Spirit, the Lord, for taking care of everything, of all our needs, and bringing us back in a normal life. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Uh, Brother Russell, can I add? Yes. Yes, please add. Go ahead, Pramila. Yeah. So when Nathan was, Nathan was circumcised, yesterday he had a circumcision. He had to go through it because of some reasons. Yeah. And I told Newton, uh, you just, uh, you know, let's say an agreement prayer. And we said, so while he was in a prayer group, he just uh, said, uh, you know, told the prayer group, pray for him. And there was a sister who told him when he said, he said, you know, before you could uh, say pray, I seen a vision that a private part is undergoing surgery. And I was ashamed to share it. But mm. uh, after you spoke, I'm sharing it with you that the Lord said everything will go fine. And everything will be perfect, not to worry. And when he shared with me, I was so happy. Not not happy about the message, that's one thing. Happy to know that the Lord is watching over my family. Yes. 
<laughs> Does watch over us. That touch me so much, brother. More than the message was that the Lord was watching over my family. But the Lord knows what is happening at least. complete control over everything because i don't know that sister who got the vision i don't know at all and anyway his surgery was a success they sent the discarded part to the lab for a test and before the reports come which will come out in 15 days i want to testify that the reports are perfectly fine and my son is out of Healed of all illness and sickness, and by the stripe of Jesus, he is completely healed. Amen. Completely healed. You claim it; it is yours. That's all, brother Asit. Please God, hold on to that faith. Claim it. What you have claimed is what you receive. You know that your father is watching over you. You know that he loves you. Tell him, thank you, Father. Everything is going well because this is your plan. Jeremiah twenty nine verse eleven. He has spoken it through his through his prophecy through the person that saw it. Has he said it, and will he not do it? That's written in his word as well. That's exactly what we claim, Lord. You said it. You showed it, and I know you will do it. Thank you. Praise God.